Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Luke Hoare Automotive. Uh, today we're gonna do a little bit of impromptu product testing, I guess. Um, as you've seen with my Pontiac Vibe GT, I still am battling a P0420 code, which is a catalyst efficiency code. Um, and before we condemn our uh, brand new catalytic converter or our uh, rear O2 sensor, we wanna go ahead and use this opportunity to test a few of the products that are on the market that people could possibly use themselves instead of going to a shop and you know having a bunch of work done. So I'm gonna go buy a couple of things and we're gonna check a few things out. Um, there is a, this is a long video. Um, it's gonna be a long video because I've got a whole lot of miles to do. So some of the, what you're gonna see in this is gonna be old footage. Um, I did fix my VVTI system um, in the middle of this video. So if you see something where I'm talking about the VVTI, Go back to my last video, I already fixed that. So anyway, P0420 Pontiac 5 GT. Can I fix it with just snake oils and random products that I buy at the auto parts store? That's what we're doing today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned. All right, well I bought stuff. So, got four options. Seafoam, uh, we've all used seafoam, it is what it is. Uh, it's designed to clean injectors, clean carb jets, stabilize fuel, control moisture, noisy lifters, clean deposits, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so we'll give that a try. Uh, I've used Seafoam a billion times before. I actually do believe in this product. Um, whether or not it's just snake oil and it works because of my positive attitude, I don't know, but we're going to give it a try. I've also got this product from Rizalin, which is Cat Complete Fuel Exhaust and Emission System Cleaner, which we're going to give that a try. Uh, it says it turns off check engine lights, clears the P0420 code and other OBD2 codes, which is perfect because that's the code I have. Cleans and restores catalytic converter. Don't really need that, it's a brand new cat, but we'll see. Worth a try. Um, I've also got this Berryman stuff, which looks surprisingly like seafoam in exactly the same size can with the same style top, but it's Berryman. Uh, cleans entire fuel system, gas tank, Intake valve, fuel pump, and carburetor. So we'll give that a try. Probably won't hurt anything. Uh, I don't believe there's been a lot of maintenance been done on this car. Um, so at this point in time, I'm sure all of this will probably help at least a little bit. Um, whether or not it solves my problem with my cat code, we'll see about that. And then I've got this product from CRC, guaranteed to pass. Uh, emission system cleaner, pass emissions tasks, or double my money back. Oh, really? Restores performance, reduces emissions, saves gas. Excellent results in both OBD1 and OBD2 testing and promotes a healthy catalytic converter. Again, my catalytic converter is healthy. The question is whether or not it's going to clean up my O2 sensor signal. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So, unfortunately, uh, basically all of these things require me to run an entire tank of fuel through the system to be able to cycle it through. So, um, I'm going to have a lot of driving to do, but fortunately I do a lot of driving. So we're going to try the seafoam first and then we'll work our way through it all. So here we go, impromptu product testing. Option number one for getting this thing running correctly and clearing up my engine codes, uh, the always popular and helpful seafoam, uh, which is cleans injectors, cleans carb jets, stabilizes fuel, moisture control, in fuels, quiet noisy lifters, clean deposits, add lubricity to fuel, lube, upper cylinders, de-ice, and anti-gel. Yeah, right? Okay, so the idea here is I actually do believe in seafoam. I use it a lot, quite a lot. Um, I am basically empty on this tank, and it also probably has no uh, premium gas in it anyway. So we're going to put a full tank of uh, 93. We're going to put in a can of seafoam. We're going to drive it about 300 and some odd miles to be able to run this thing dry. And then we'll try the next one. And we'll see if any of this stuff does, well, you know, anything. It's kind of handy not having a fuel door. Makes that a little easier. First thing we're gonna learn is that neck is probably not long enough. We'll see. New funnel, gonna need another funnel. Okay, it's going in. Ooh ah. Uh oh. I am through that entire tank of fuel. As you can see, it is basically gone. There is no check engine light on, but that's because I just cleared it at the shop. Um, we were playing with whether or not I can control the VVT solenoid from the uh, snap-on controller. 
Anyway, time for our second product we're gonna give a try, which is this Rizalyn product. Um, Cat Complete Fuel Exhaust Emission System Cleaner. Check Engine Light Medic Plus. Pass Emission Smog Test Guaranteed. Turn off Check Engine Light Clear P0420 and other OBD codes. Cleans and restores catalytic converters, reduces emissions, and saves on gas. Now, this does have a pretty specific uh, instructions on this uh, product on how to use it. So, add entire bottle of product into approximately half full tank of gas for cars or a quarter tank for trucks. Uh, drive vehicle 20 to 30 miles, ideally half at highway speeds, and then fill up the tank. Continue to drive vehicle normally until below one quarter tank before refueling again. Take emissions test at this time if needed and check engine light should be off. Marketing term should be off. Depending on severity and length of time that the light has been on, aka how unbelievably disgusting your cat is, it may take an extra 250 miles with multiple cycles of the vehicle to be started and turned off for the light to reset. If light is still on, mechanical attention is needed, aka your cat is gross. Um, so we're going to give this a try. We're going to give them a try. Uh, Rizalyn's Restore power performance, pass emission smog test, and deodorizes smelly exhaust. Um, I am at the exact same place I was at before, Costco, right around the corner from the shop. So control is same fuel, and uh, we'll see. I will say with running an entire can of seafoam through this thing uh, it, and running premium gas that it's, it's supposed to have in it, it has gotten more peppy. Uh, I still do have my OBD2 codes, though, and I still have no VVT. Um, but it does run better. Now, whether or not that's from the sea foam or from the you know high performance fuel that i put in it we'll see so let's get some of this in the tank and see what's what yeehaw isn't this fun product reviews right this is science right here we're doing science oh and it's got this lovely top which will allow me to put it in my tank easier than the sea foam well point for them That's in. Uh, the tank on this thing's pretty small, so I'm gonna stick to about five gallons because um, it said to do half full. So we'll cut her off at five gallons and we'll. Put some miles on this thing, see what it does. Science. I would say five gallons was exactly correct. How about them apples? Being precise. According to the uh, instructions, I need to put 20 to 30 miles on this thing, half at highway speeds, half at not highway speeds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do some back road cruising and then I'm gonna go hit the highway um, and then I'll come back and put more fuel in it and then I'll drive it around for the rest of the day well night because it's obviously the work day is over so um, that's how we're gonna do this I'm gonna go for a little bit of a cruise unfortunately it's once again raining outside in Ohio welcome to the winter um, but yeah we'll see Fingers crossed. the back road portion of my driving uh, I have done approximately 24 miles of back road driving I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of highway driving on my way back to the shop um, I did 
kick my check engine light on, but that is entirely my doing. Uh, I wanted to see if my VVTI worked, and it didn't. Uh, it got to seven grand and uh, wasn't happy. Um, which is different because last time it didn't uh, even try to. Now that's also possibly because the cat code was already on and it won't allow it to go into VVTI when the cat code is on, so maybe it tried to and it failed to. Um, we'll check and see. I'm gonna run by the shop real quick, close this, or uh, clear this code out, um, and then we're gonna go get some more fuel. So, I'm following the instructions, Rizalyn. Let's see whether or not your product will save me. I hope so, because it's expensive if it doesn't fix this. All right, so we have that same P1693 code, variable valve timing, control, or my battery or my headlight. Yeah, it's probably not one of those two. So, interestingly, we do not have our P0420 yet, which is our cat code. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. Let's clear this off. We already know what that code is all about. We'll deal with that in another day. Uh, da -da 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 code menu. Exit, back up, clear codes. Yes. So uh, all we have is our VVT code, which we know we have. So, so far, no, uh, no cat code. Are we lucky so far or is that stuff doing what it's supposed to do? I guess we'll find out probably by tomorrow morning, but I'm gonna go get some more fuel. So according to Rizalyn product, um, put full bottle in to half a tank of gas, check, drive 20 to 30 miles varying between highway speeds and normal back roadsy speed, check. So we are now on the fill tank up and drive to below one quarter of a tank, check. That's what we're doing now. Um, obviously I'm not going to be able to film that part right now because that's going to be, you know, two or 300 miles, which for me is like a day or two um so once we get this thing filled up then it's time to put some miles on this sucker what do you guys think at this point in time you think we're gonna have some success here do you think we're gonna fix it that'd be cool it'd be really cool if this fixed my problem is rizzling gonna be the one that gets it done let's keep on testing Yes. Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, it's the following day. Time to put some miles on the Vibe. I've got to run out to the Ford dealership uh, to pick up some parts, so figure why not take the Vibe, put some more miles on it, cycle more of this rizzling through the system. Uh, I am 20 miles uh, since fill-up and no check engine light yet, so that's good news. Um, it is obviously another um, rainy day here in central Ohio. Isn't that nice? And as I mentioned in the first video, it is raining a little bit on the inside of the car. You can probably tell the two-tone there. Um, it's actually starting to green a little bit there. But we gotta probably do some, uh, do some fixing with that. But otherwise, she's doing well so far. So, continuing on. Let's burn some fuel out of this tank. See what she does. If the check engine light pops on in the next 200 miles, I'll let you know. Fingers crossed. Well, crap. Yeah. 
made it 60 miles. Uh, well, more than almost 65 miles. Well, I got what I needed from the Ford dealership, so let's head to the shop and see what's going on. I'm guessing it's our normal P4 or 0420. Um, but Rizalyn said that I may have to drive up to 250 miles on the packaging, so we're still we're still on plan. On driving. Yep. So same thing, catalytic converter code. Not super surprising. Um, even the Rizalyn stuff doesn't say it will necessarily fix this issue just that it'll turn the light off for a little while um but you know like i said it made it uh, like 65 miles before i turned the light back on um, i'm gonna go ahead and clear it keep on driving uh, and we'll see if it fixes it if not we've got another one on deck well good morning and uh welcome back it's been a couple of hundred miles on the vibe uh but 340 miles so far on this tank uh it is another Beautifully gray and rainy day here in central Ohio. Whew, man, this winter's been fun. Uh, unfortunately, the only thing I have to report is that check engine light is once again on. Um, the only time it goes off is when I turn it off and it only stays off for 30 or 40 miles or so. Uh, if I'm only doing short trips, it tends to stay off longer. Um, but if I put 30 miles on it in one big run, it does come back on and stays on. Um, according to the product details, at least the way I read it, I'm supposed to drive it and it's supposed to turn the light off. Uh, it never has done that. Um, so, it, you know, it is what it is. Again, we know that this catalytic converter is brand new. Um, so it's probably not the cat. Um, but whatever. Anyway, so the next product we're going to give a try is the CRC product. Um, I need to get back to the shop to pick it up. And then we're going to run over to Costco, use exactly the same fuel we've been using for the rest of this test, and uh, pour that CRC stuff. As far as what I was reading on the on the label, um, very similar uh, situation with like a seafoam, where you just, you know, open the fuel tank, you pour that stuff in, you pour a, fuel, full, a full tank of gas up to 16 gallons which is a way bigger tank than this thing is. And traffic, there's an accident ahead. Oh man. Anyway, yeah, you pour the whole thing in um, up to 16, it'll treat up to 16 gallons, um, fill the tank and then drive it. And it's supposed to do whatever it does. So let me get, uh, yeah, well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna be stuck in this for a bit, but I'll see you guys in a bit. It's okay. It's not like I had anything to do anyway. Grr. And this is what's next. Guaranteed to pass emission system cleaner. Double your money back. Really? Excellent results on OBD1 and 2. Testing and promotes a healthy catalytic converter. But we know it's got a healthy catalytic converter. What we're curious about is whether or not it turns off our PO240 code. Um, pretty simple, like I said, treats up to 16 gallons, pour one bottle in, fill the tank, drive it, see what happens. Um, yeah, that's it. Drive until one eighth of a tank or less, refill tank and take emissions test. Okay, well, we'll give it a shot. This has got a poor neck top. Yep. There we go. Let's pour her in, see what's up. Belly fuel fuel again. Again, check engine light is still on. We're gonna run back to the shop and I'll reset the code one more time and then we'll drive her and put, uh, put some miles on it. This doesn't say it wants me to stop and get more fuel again or any of that other stuff uh, that the Rizalyn product said. Uh, just drive it down to an eighth of a tank and then go take my emissions test, which I'm not gonna take an emissions test, but what I wanna see 
is whether or not it actually does anything to clear that coat up. I am half tempted to leave the coat on and see if this stuff will clear the machine up itself. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Um, but in my mind, I'll, I'll just clear the coat out. That way it's not looking at me on the dash there. Um, and then we'll put, you know, 300 miles on it. I ended up with 360 miles almost right on the nose on this one. So we'll go put, you know, almost 300 miles on it in the next two days or so and uh, go from there. So hi-ho, hi-ho, time for mileage we go. What do you guys think so far? You think this is going to actually do anything? think anything's gonna work or you think I'm gonna just go ahead and buy a new a rear O2 sensor and get this replaced or do you think there's something else going on there are no other codes all it is is PO420 so there's no lean codes there's no misfire codes there's no timing codes there's no no nothing else just the catalytic catalyst efficiency code what do you guys think at this point in time am I just wasting money on snake oil that's possible Yep. Well, at least nothing else is popping up. All right, codes are clearing. Let's try some more miles. Well, poop. It stayed out for almost a hundred miles but we're back on and we all we all know what code that is well unfortunately check engine lights still on uh crc product's done gonna go put my tank of gas in this thing again i got one more product to try i'm not feeling real positive here but we're gonna try this barman's as derek from vice grip garage would say barman uh fuel system and tire cleaner gas tank intake valve fuel pump carburetor uh, improves engine performance, restores power, reduces emissions, yada, yada, yada. You know the drill. Um, it's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to be a negative thing to run this because we know everything that's in this car is probably disgusting and very poorly maintained. Um, so it's certainly not going to hurt anything, but is it going to fix my problem? Probably not. Worth a try anyway. Let's see what it does. Ah! That doesn't work. By the way, it's freezing and snowing again. So, got our Behrmans in there. Keep dropping my funnel. But, full tank of gas, Behrmans in the tank. We'll see whether or not this does anything for us. Fingers crossed. What do you guys think? Am I destined to replace my O2 sensor? Or is that high flow Flowmaster catalytic converter just not capable of cleaning up my exhaust enough to not freak out that O2 sensor? That's also a possibility, I guess. All right, on the road, let's put some more miles on this thing. Full tank of fuel, check engine light's still on. Again, we know what the code is. It is what it is. Get back on our scanner. Let's clear that code, hopefully one last time. You guys have seen me do this over and over and over again. You know how this screen works. Do 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 do. And that's it. PO420. That's it. That's all we got. Nothing else. No lean codes. No nothing. History codes. No nothing. Just the PO420. So we're going to clean this up one last time and hope we get there.
Good morning once again. Uh, as you can likely tell, it's another beautiful day here in central Ohio. We've uh, progressed to a wintry mix, as we like to call it here, uh, which is snow, hail, rain, all generally mixed together. <clears throat> and um, time to wrap up this video. Um, I put a couple more hundred miles on it with my Bermans in it. And unfortunately, our check engine light's back on. Uh, it made it uh, about 100 miles, and uh, that is with some short cycling and then a couple of long, uh, you know, 30 minute drives. Um, and it, uh, it did kick that back on. I cleared it back out. It made it about another long drive cycle again. Essentially, what happens is, is it fails twice, it fails the checks twice. Uh, and it kicks that light on. So if I'm just doing short little drives, it's not gonna kick itself on, but as soon as I go through a, a drive cycle that's gonna allow it to check that emission system twice, it fails. Um, now, as far as what the data we can look at with the O2 sensor, it seems like it's fine. Uh, it's reporting correctly. The, the catalytic converter seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing by converting the cats uh, it is a considerably cleaner signal on the rear sensor versus the front sensor. Um, so that's fine. Um, so I wouldn't condemn the brand new cat and I wouldn't necessarily condemn the rear O2 sensor. I'm not getting any other codes. There's not a rich code or a lean code. Uh, there's nothing else going on. There's no, uh, improperly running. There's no, none of that. Um, so do these products work? Uh, no. Um, do they clean the top half and do some valve clean and removing some of that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, they will do some of that. The car does run better. Um, it, whether or not that's from switching over from, from you know, horrible gas that it probably had in it now um, to running all of this stuff through, because I have run through uh, almost 1,500 miles on this car. So, uh, it does run considerably better than it did when I first picked it up. Uh, running all that stuff through the tank has certainly improved. Uh, the fuel efficiency has gotten better. The response has gotten better. Um, doesn't turn off the O2 sensor light. Uh, nothing we did ever turned that light off. I always had to be the one that would turn it off. It never turned itself off. Um, now, whether or not that's because it's an older vehicle uh, or I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's an O3, but... Uh, it never once, with any of those products, turned off the O2, the, the check engine light, uh, to, to clear that O2. So, if you were trying to get your car ready to go to an emissions test, um, no, it doesn't do that. Does it delay the time in which it takes to kick two cycles of, of failure so that it kicks that light back on? Maybe. Um, with Seafoam and Behrmans, I would say no. With the Rizalin product and the CRC products, I don't honestly know. I couldn't tell you one way or another. Um, it's hard to say, it's really hard to say. Either way, the only way you clear that code is you go through a code scanner and you clear that code or you turn the battery off, you pull, unplug the battery and let the thing fully reset itself. So, do these products clear PO2 or PO420? No, the answer is no, they do not. Do they do what they're supposed to do as far as top end engine cleaning? Yeah. Do they increase your fuel economy? Yeah. Uh, car run better? Yeah. Uh, do they do what I needed them to do? No, absolutely not. So the question at this point in time is what do we do next? Um, do we stick a rear O2 sensor in it and see if it fixes itself? Maybe. I mean, it's only 50 bucks for a rear O2 sensor, you know, provided the old one comes out. Um, do we do that? Do we uh, say that that, that high-flow cat just cannot clear up my emissions enough to be able to make this little Toyota power plant happy? Could be a possibility. Got to put a better cat on it or a more con or a more restrictive cat, more of a stock factory cat in there. Could be. Um, do we unplug this thing and let it sit for days and let the factory ECU completely reset absolutely everything and then learn the air fuel trims again? And see if that fixes the issue. A couple people have mentioned that in uh, comments and on Facebook. So um, that's where we are. That's where we've got it. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't fix a thing this time. 
But we did some sciencey stuff, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm gonna get myself out of here before my wintry storm hits in my front wheel drive race car. Thanks for being here, guys. Take care.